It is the time of day that I love the best, the early evening before dinner, and Richard and I are walking around the walls which run round this great castle, a long square walk which takes us to all points of the compass and begins and ends at the Prince's Tower, where my darling little Edward has his nursery. To our right is the deep moat. As I look down, I can see them pulling a net from the moat, gleaming with wriggling silver fish, and I nudge Richard and say, carp for dinner tonight. Beyond the moat is the jumble of stone and slate buildings of the little town of Middleham, and all around the town, the rich pasture that runs up to the moorland. I can see two milkmaids with their yoke and pails over their broad shoulders, carrying their three-legged stools, going out to milk the cows in the fields, and the cows raising their heads from the grass when they hear the call, Bonnie Coo, Bonnie Coo, and walking slowly towards them. Beyond the fields, the lower slopes of the hills are dark green with bracken, and beyond that, higher and higher, is the misty amethyst tinge of flowering heather. This has been my home and my family's home forever. Most of the boys in the cottages are named Richard after my father and his father before him. Most of the girls are called Anne or Isabel after my sister and me. Almost everyone has sworn obedience to me or to the new Richard here, my husband. As we turn the corner on the walkway of the castle, and go away from the town, I see an early barn owl, white as a cloud, floating silent as a falling leaf along the bushy line of the hedge. The sun is sinking down into a layer of rose and gold clouds. My hand is tucked in Richard's arm, and I lean my head against his shoulder. Are you happy? I ask. He smiles at the question, which is not one he would ever pose. I'm glad to be here.